everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Miyuki here, and today we're going to be doing part two of our How to Crochet an Anime Eye. In the last video, I showed you how to do just the eye here, and this video is going to be really short. I'm just going to show you how to do the upper eyelid and the eyebrow. So, yeah, let's hop to it. The only materials you'll be needing for this video are your needle floating needles and some black wool, depending or different color wool, depending on the color of your chibi's hair. Alright guys, not gonna waste any time, let's just hop right into it and finish our eye because, you know, I'm sure we're all excited about that. So we're gonna take, we're just gonna take a small amount of our black yarn, not yarn, uh, wool, very small amount, roll it nice and thin, and we're gonna lay it on our outline from before. I take your needle, put the needle, and you just poke on top of your outline. All the outline you made. Poke on top. Make sure with your needle felt to needles that you poke straight down and not diagonal or pushing it too hard because they um, are fragile and they can break and they're really expensive. So you can break any needles. I'm just gonna trace out of our eye. If you haven't seen part one, I did um, do, uh, made a visual, or we drew it on paper. If you need to, you can go back and look at that video so you know what we're doing. Now, I don't want this excess yarn here, so I'm just cut it off. I'm going to poke that part in, and that's our upper eyelid. Now we're going to do our eyebrow. You want to take another thin amount of wool because you don't want her eyebrows to be too thick. I'm going to roll it up like this and lay it on top of our outline, just like before, and poke it in. What the needle fletching wool is doing is poking through to the stuffing in your um, doll. And it's connecting to it like that. It's really handy. And you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Just trace your outline. just make one from the last video like I said earlier because um, it makes it a lot easier to know where you're going to put your needle felt in. It turns out a lot nicer too in my opinion. But meet back here when you're done. I'll see you there. And once you're done with that, we're done. That's our anime eye. That's where you did the eye. This one will be the upper eyelid and the eyebrow. So all you have to do is do it on the other side. Now don't um, fret if it's not exactly the same. Um, I have a really hard time getting it to be the same too. I don't think I've ever had 
and even when I draw, I can't get the eyes exactly on the other side. So don't worry about that if your eye is not exactly identical to the other. Just try your best to get it to look that way. And yeah, that's it. Um, the next chibi video I'll be coming out with will be the body, and then we'll finally be complete with our chibi. So that would be great. And we can finally start getting to making anime characters and Studio Ghibli characters and stuff like that. So this video is really short, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it was easy to follow. But um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.